Hello and welcome to Climate Hope City. My name is Adam Clark and I create Minecraft experiences and maps for museums like the Tate and organisations like the South Bank. And some of you may also recognise me as Wizard Keen from Stampy's educational Minecraft show called WonderQuest. I was asked to create a Minecraft city for the Guardian's Keep It In The Ground campaign that presents positive technology that addresses the climate change challenges we all face. So let's have a look and remember you can download this map and look about the city for yourself. Now parts of the city may look a little bit unusual but it's not meant to be a pie in the sky vision of the future. All of the features you see here are either already in place in cities around the world or exist as prototypes. You see we don't have to wait decades. The solution to making our cities cleaner, more efficient and more pleasant to live in are already with us. So let's take a look around. This city contains a range of different technologies, like carbon scrubbers. Now prototype technologies already exist to suck CO2 out of the air, but it's far from clear at the moment whether they could be economically viable. We also have vertical farms, the advantage of farming upwards, or indeed underground, is to produce a more yield for the same area. It also brings food production into cities and closer to the people who eat it, and that cuts transport costs and emissions too. Kinetic pavements, would you imagine? Pavement tiles that convert footsteps into usable electricity. <laughs> it sounds futuristic, but they have already done it in the 2012 London Olympics. Hydrogen powered canal boats. Why, instead of choking diesel fumes, the fuel cells running these vessels produce no emissions other than water vapour, and they're quieter too. Green roofs. Having plants on the top of buildings helps with the insulation and rainwater retention, reducing problems with runoff. They also enrich the city's biodiversity. In fact, France is so keen it has mandated new roofs in commercial zones to be either green or covered in solar panels. Driverless cars? The cars of the future will take you swiftly, safely and directly to your destination. Without the vagaries of human driving, traffic flow can be managed much more efficiently and trials are already underway. Cycle lanes. Bikes may be old tech, but encouraging people to cycle is a great way to improve public health and reduce emissions. Separating bikes and cars makes cyclists feel safer, and so encouraging more people onto two wheels. Solar glass. Colourful, transparent solar cells that can be added to panes of glass means that a building can be powered partly by its own windows. Super efficient street lamps. You know, public lighting is a significant energy drain, so converting to LEDs means a big cut to demand. We've all seen wind turbines in the landscape, but what about wind turbines on buildings? You know, wind speeds tend to be higher and more consistent further away from the ground, so sighting turbines on buildings can make them more efficient and generate electricity closer to where it will be used. Right at the centre of the map, you are able to play with the real-time generation of power using green, renewable technologies. You, the player, are able to turn on each type of energy to see what impact it has on the overall power generation. And it includes wind farms, kinetic roads, hydropower, solar power and much, much more. Stay tuned for this exciting feature on my good friend Dragnos's YouTube channel where he will feature the concept and the Minecraft magic that makes it all possible. We're just about running out of time, so quickly I'm going to thank the Guardian's Keep It In The Ground campaign for asking me to make this map, and also for the very talented builders Blockworks who created all the structures that you see around on the map. And remember, this map is downloadable, so you can walk around it, play with it, have a look at all the things and be inspired. Maybe even make your own map. Until next time, thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.